Today I'm going to talk about hydroponics, at least. I get a question about hydroponics all the time, so I'm going to answer that question today. I get this one a ton, and I don't know why people always ask me why I don't do hydroponics. So I'll, I'll address this question in two ways. I'll first answer why I don't do hydroponics and then I'll address what I think of hydroponics. So first of all, the reason I don't do hydroponics is why would I? I've got a great thing going on. I'm farming in people's yards. It works. I've got, the good, I've got good soil. Why wouldn't I use that? It's kind of what I've built my career on. So I'm not interested in hydroponics because it's not really relative to my context, basically. Besides from that, uh, I'm not really that interested in hydroponics either. And the main reason is, is I just don't really think it is all that necessary, depending on context, of course. I think the most important and relevant context for hydroponics in general would be high density urban areas, areas that don't have good soil, whether it's contaminated or it's pest ridden, or places like the Arctic or Antarctic. I think. Or, or maybe on Mars, so maybe there's four reasons there um, that hydroponics would make sense. The way I see it is if you've got good soil, use the soil. You know, unless, unless you've got an inhospitable growing climate or something like that, then it makes sense. A lot of people in the urban agriculture space really often, especially in academia, really get often obsessed with these high-tech solutions. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think there's space for everybody in here. I think um, you know it's a wild west of innovation in urban agriculture right now and I think there's room for everybody and every kind of idea. So I think it's great. I think people developing all kinds of high tech systems that can go on rooftops or in the Arctic or in the tropical climates that you can't grow in good soil. I think that's all good. But I think your context is really important and the, ch the thing that I don't like about hydroponics or aquaponics is that its startup cost is very expensive. You know, I can get a commercial farm running on less than $10,000 making near $100,000 in a year. I can do that with some good soil, some simple tools, and a, and, a, and a good business plan and marketing plan. I can do that. You want to get into hydroponics or aquaponics on any level of commercial scale, it's going to have a huge startup expense. And I fully accept that the production capacity of hydro and aquaponics is for sure it exceeds land-based agriculture. There's no doubt about it because you can verticalize and stack. Mind you, I do verticalize too in some ways. Um, so I totally accept that. But I just don't, I'm not really that interested in it. I mean, I think that um, I'm more interested in appropriate technology than I am high technology. And I think that um, the fact that there's all these suburban lawns all over the U.S., right? In my book, I quote 40, 40 million acres of lawn in the U.S. That's an opportunity, right? Um, if we want to have everybody do aquaponics, I mean, or hydroponics, what's that going to cost? It's just not really that, it's not very feasible for the average person to get into that. And that's okay. I, I, I don't care if something isn't universally applicable to the average person. I'm totally fine with that. I just think that is a movement, I'm more interested in something that can work for a lot of people because I would like to live in a world where there's millions of new farmers opposed to 10 farmers feeding the world. I want to see a revolution of agriculture and I just don't really see that happening with hydroponics and aquaponics because the startup is so expensive. So those are my main thoughts on that. I hope that clears up some of the questions that I get on this one a lot and I told people that I'd make a video on it so this is it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you like this stuff. Check out my online course, my book, and please consider making a donation to the channel. I've been putting in over 15 hours a week on top of all the other things I do to make these videos, and I want to keep making them free for you guys. So anything you can donate is totally appreciated, and it all goes to making sure I can keep producing this content for you guys. All right, thanks a lot.